So hype cycles are a super fascinating concept to me. Like you can talk about something until you're blue in the face. You can talk about it over and over again. You can demonstrate it, show it to people, and it doesn't get any traction. And then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, maybe company X puts out uh, an article that you can actually do something via Lime method, and then all of a sudden that becomes the rage. <laughs> and then what, like you were talking about, and telling people over and over again and trying to explain, uh, like for a couple of years, all of a sudden becomes like the big hype, right? Uh, and then that is with Diffusion. <laughs> like uh, I have had more people ask me about Diffusion in the past week than I have in the past two years. I'm just, this is just my YouTube channel, right? And I'm just doing title contains diffusion. You can see uh, July 23rd, 2023, right? So two years I've been talking about this topic. Uh, I've made models and you can see it. My, my progression has gone more and more with regards towards researching these things, right? Uh, most recent one here, or, or like next to the most recent one is um, here's a reverse, dif reverse diffusion neural network. This is what you want, right? This is what people uh, are hyping up. This is from January. So two months ago, uh, and then all of a sudden, like, this is all the rage, right? And then people are like, oh, wow, you can actually do this. And it's like, well, yeah, I, I did this for you a, a year ago six months ago, two years ago, three three months ago, etc. right? But that wasn't part of the hype cycle. <laughs> and so the bottom line here, though, what I want to explain to you in this video flat out is the smart money is going to bet against these people. Ignore the hype. I can't state that to you enough. There's not a, there's a reason why I'm not big on diffusion on this channel. Again, right, like uh, I can literally build diffusion networks, uh, neural networks and, and whatever you want. I can build a diffusion neural network. I can build image-based diffusion. I can build like, sw I can combine swarm algorithms with diffusion. I can combine it any way that you want. I can tell you that from my experience, my knowledge, my um, experiments within all of this, Diffusion is more of an off-ramp than LLM models are. <laughs> like, uh, Diffusion is the biggest off-ramp possible. Like, if you want to set your money on fire, invest heavily in Diffusion. Because, that, 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 like, you will be doing yourself a disservice and it, it, you will be proving to the world and to anyone that actually understands these things that you know very little about mathematics and physics overall. <laughs> that you are a stochastic parrot and that humans aren't actually capable of thought in and of themselves and that they only follow trends and patterns and uh, literally enough to set their money on fire. Like, I uh, cannot blatantly state those things enough, right? And so the reason why is very simplistic if you understand how actual diffusion works, right? Let's just go to Google. Let's look up diffusion. Uh, diffusion is a uh, very simple process here. Uh, and then like this, these are good illustrations, right? Because you'll notice two things within this. And uh, from a physics perspective, if you don't know, diffusion is typically thought of as a temperature process, right? So you take uh, water molecules and then you heat them and then you have kind of a, a osmosis process that occurs because of that heat transfer, right? But as these illustrations all perfectly illustrate uh, and what we can see here throughout all of these, a common theme within them is that they're all utilizing liquids, right? Uh, and then so people that have a base understanding of diffusion, they understand the temperature aspect of it, but don't understand the liquid aspect of it or the fluid dynamics aspect aspect of it. So while diffusion is a thermodynamic model, it's also a fluid dynamic model. <laughs> and and uh, people completely ignore that, right? So rather than like get on the hype train, like, oh, diffusion is, is this amazing new thing and diffusion works. Ask yourself this simple question, why is diffusion working in this instance? And then you'll understand my argument. The reason why diffusion is working in this instance is very simplistic. It's a very simple, and, and every crit critic of AI points it out, which is that AI doesn't think like you do, right? I, I mean, I can't, like, dir. Uh, so, uh, a human being utilizes, in order to solve a problem, you utilize a combination of inductive and deductive reasoning. You are a logical, uh, a logic reasoning machine, right? That, that's your job. You, you utilize inductive and deductive reasoning to, to come up with, with uh, concepts and, and to uh, accurately describe things. 
these AI models, these diffusion models, they're not utilizing inductive and deductive reasoning uh, in order to do these things. They're utilizing fluid dynamics in these instances as opposed to thermodynamics. And that's why diffusion is able to succeed within this instance because they're utilizing the concepts of fluid dynamics uh, over your data set to shape and reshape the data. Uh, I can prove this out multiple times now. There's like a multiple physicists, MIT, across the board are proving out what I just said within regards towards uh, that particular concept, right? So it all comes down to fluid dynamics rather than actual thought. And then within that, it's or, or not uh, with uh, as opposed to actual inductive and deductive reasoning. And uh, so it's a different form of uh, intelligence entirely, right? Uh, and then so within that, the, the number one thing that, that um, makes diffusion poo-poo in this instance, if you actually understand that and, and you can uh, mathematically draw those conclusions, is that this method is so uh, computationally inefficient compared to any other method that you could utilize for the same thing that it is even funny. And nothing will make that go away, right? Again, it boils down to simple mathematics and physics. If you look at your average diffusion model, uh, let's uh, let's go back here, right? Uh, diffusion. Uh, there's a model that I, I test here, uh, which is like this one, the Wurstchen, right? Uh, I tested this in September of 2023. This Wurstchen model is a uh, was a unique model and is a unique model because it is a, a small diffusion model. And and Wurstchen being a small diffusion model is, I think, about. 4 billion parameters. Your average diffusion model is like 13 billion parameters, meaning that it's not running on consumer hardware uh, and you can't quantize it down below that, right? So like there's not gonna be a situation where all of a sudden there's gonna be a 100 million parameter diffusion model that's gonna come out and it's gonna clock out. Uh, it's gonna start beating out like 13 billion parameter diffusion models. That, that won't happen. If you understand exactly how diffusion works, it won't work in that same way uh, as transformers are, right? We're stuck with these sizes. So we're stuck with these ginormous models when, when you incorporate diffusion. So sure, I can do a parlor trick and get diffusion to do things that other forms of compute can do. But when you actually take away the parlor trick, it's more computationally expensive. When you take away the hype train, you actually understand it. It's more computationally expensive. Nothing changes that equation. Nothing will ever change the equation because the, the equation is based off of physics and mathematics. And then once you understand that particular part of the equation, the hype goes away. What am I big on personally? I'm big on hyperdimensional computing and swarm algorithms, which is why I present those more often than anything else on this channel. Hyperdimensional computing, swarm algorithms, and genetic algorithms. I think those three uh, are the key. I think diffusion models, transformer models, anything that is a derivative off of them, uh, I'm not a huge fan of. I'm not a huge fan of backpropagation overall. I'm not a, a huge, I'm not a fan at all of gradient descent. I have a lot of these same criticisms that a lot of critics of these things do, right? Uh, of these same systems do. Uh, I understand the mathematics behind it and understand the inefficiencies of them. Uh, if I can do, I mean, I mean, it's very simplistic at this point, and it's very simple to measure, right? I can take a data set and I can take, um, let's say, uh, I take a fashion MNIST data set and then I take a, a diffusion model versus a, a HDC model. I can test them on, across the board on accuracy, speed, performance, etc. right? And what will happen if you do those types of tests is every single time you will find that uh, the simpler models are just far better across the board, more accurate in, in a lot of instances, or the same accuracy for far or less compute. And then so at the end of the day, it all comes down to computational efficiency, right? Like uh, you can come out with a cool diffusion model that won't, like no one could be able to afford or run on their own consumer hardware. And, and then I do the same thing and then mine runs on an iPhone. Who's going to win? Like it's simple logic, right? Um, and you can't get around it with this. So uh, ignore the hype. I understand there's a lot of hype around diffusion right now. So like hopefully you're watching this video because of that, right? And then so you can go to people and say like, yeah, I, I know, hype's dead. Uh, trust me, six months from now, no one's gonna be talking about diffusion. It is uh, the beginning of March of 2025. I am putting it in guarantee on this video. If you're watching it in August or September or later of 2025, Diffusion is absolutely dead as a concept to you. And you know why, because the hype, track, hype cycle uh, went by itself. So uh, 
if there's a reason, if you're thinking like, why is this guy not putting out a lot of videos around diffusion, or you want to ask me questions around diffusion, uh, it's old technology to me. Yes, you can do the things that people say that you can do with them, uh, but just because they're cool parlor tricks, there people are understanding more and more about the mathematics and the physics of AI. I'm already past that. Um, and then, so if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.